everyone is really excited about the new shorts feature on YouTube. And let me tell you something, you don't have to video a new vertical format. You can reformat it from an old video that was landscape into the vertical, and I'm going to show you how. So here is my vertical shorts version of my channel's best performing video. And you can see, like, look at this, 237,000 views. 563 new subscribers and like no income obviously it's super short and there's no monetization on the shorts platform but you can see over here 43 percent are coming from the shorts shelf and 47 percent from suggested on regular youtube so this is killing it and if you're not doing shorts already you need to try and while you're at it with the verticals these can also be formatted for TikTok, for Instagram Reels, Instagram Stories, IGTV, you name it. So here we go. This is what you got to do. First, you're going to go into your video editor. I use iMovie because I'm on a Mac. And you're going to edit it down as you normally would, but you're going to make sure you get it down to the right length. What is the right length, you ask? Well, for YouTube Shorts, it's got to be under 60 seconds. For Instagram Reels, it's got to be under 30 seconds. For IG Stories, that's under 15 seconds. Or if it's longer, it'll be split up. For IGTV, it's got to be over 60 seconds. And for TikTok, it's got to be under 60 seconds. While you're editing, you want to just make sure that all the clips that you're including are kind of taking place in half of the video width-wise, if that makes sense, because you're going to crop it down to about half size in width. So you're gonna edit it and then you're gonna download it as you would any other video. I'm gonna do shorts, rejuvenate, and compression is better quality. Next. And I'm gonna save it on my desktop. So it's downloading when my little pie feature is full. I'll know it's ready. All right, share successful. Now it's here in my desktop and I'm gonna crop it to vertical. And how I do that is with Keynote. You open it up and I just do a basic white presentation and I just delete this stuff and where you go is up on the top right to the document and then down to the slide size. You can customize the slide size. You could do square if you're going to be doing a regular Instagram feed post for YouTube shorts and all the other verticals I usually do 1080. I swap them and 1920. And there you go, it's your vertical format. I make it smaller so I can really see the whole frame. Then you go drag your movie in. And this takes a minute to insert it usually. All right, there's our video. Now we're gonna stretch it out so that it fills up completely from top to bottom. And you can move it. So let's say if your whole video is over on the right side of the landscape, then you're gonna have it over here. But in my case, I try to keep it central. So I'm gonna put it here, and you'll see here what's gonna be on the YouTube Shorts. And um, let's see over here, I do automatically play upon opening and self-playing, zero, zero. And on Shorts, if I'm doing a short version of a video I already have up, I usually will add the text to say full video linked in description. That way maybe they will click over and keep watching. Go to format and make it nice and big and bold. Let's see, how's that? Eh, that'll do. And then you can click and play to just make sure everything's gonna be in the viewing area. And then you are going to export to movie. And I will do shorts, video, export to desktop. So that is exported and now you can just go to create as you normally would because most of us don't have the shorts 
shelf yet. You just have to upload it like a regular video. So then you would upload it just like that. And the key for shorts when uploading regularly, you have to make sure you put shorts in the title and the video description. And then just do it as you normally would any video because don't forget these are going to be searchable and viewable on regular YouTube as well. My really good performing one, it's seen half on shorts shelf and half on regular YouTube. So you're going to want to research those keywords and stuff like normal. If you're not using vidIQ and TubeBuddy yet, be sure you are because you can search keywords and find out how well they're going to help you rank and stuff. They're really helpful. And then don't forget to do a thumbnail. It won't be viewable on the short shelf, but it'll help when viewable on YouTube. And how I do my thumbnails is on Canva. Super duper easy. They have it optimize for YouTube, the thumbnail template right here, 1280 by 720, boom. And then you can just, you know, upload your screenshot or whatever you're gonna do. So that is how you do that for the shorts, but if you're gonna do it to Instagram Reels or something on Instagram, you need to be MP4 file. And Keynotes does it in MPEG4, I believe, what is this? Yep, MPEG4. Okay, so then you need to go and convert it. And if you go to cloudconvert.com, it's super easy, MPEG4 to MP4 converter. You select the file, but I'm not gonna do it because I've already reached my limit for the day. <laughs> but you just insert the video you want and then you convert it and then when it's done, you download it. And then to get it over to your phone so you can get it onto Instagram, you're just gonna drop it in your Google Drive and then download it from your phone and you're good to go. Super duper easy guys. I hope you try out YouTube Shorts and Instagram Reels. They're really killing it for a lot of people. They're a great way to get exposure and new subscribers or followers and views and all that good stuff. Try it and let me know what you think. If you have any comments and tips about how to do these videos or you have any questions, you can reach me over on usjapanfam.com. I've got this tutorial up on there as well, so you can just read through that for more details. You can comment and let us know what you think. And if you have any other tips, thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to subscribe for more. Bye.